Now, the Dubai dream does seem to be unraveling. The $80 billion debt fiasco is something that's going to hit Kerala and the state's economy, as Naveen Nair now explains. Economists call Kerala a money order economy, precisely for this reason that every third house in Kerala has a man working in the Gulf. It's this Malayali's dream to making it big in the Gulf that was in the line of fire when the markets tumbled in Dubai. Malayalis constitute majority of the workers in Dubai. Uh, so if they are going to come back in large numbers, then we will have to take certain measures to provide safety net to them. And many workers who are home for Bakarid holidays fear the worst when they go back. We don't know what's the exact picture since the government is keeping it a secret. There is no surety that a job will be there when we return. From among 50 lakh Indians who work in the Gulf, the Malayali diaspora alone accounts for more than 20 lakh. And they bring in more than 25% of the state's GDP as remittance. So if the markets crash in the Gulf, the direct impact will no doubt be on the economy of the state. Not just that, the future of two of Kerala's multi-crop projects, the Smart City and the Valar Padam shipping terminal, is also uncertain as both have Dubai World as partners. But some others are still optimistic that sun will never set on Dubai. I'm not expecting any adverse, serious adverse impact on Indian economy or Indian workers. I mean, it's all the fear and insecurity, there's still hope. Because not many people have returned from the Gulf saying that they've lost their jobs. But if the situation in Dubai world continues like this, it could very well be the case. And that could very well leave the state's economy in complete ruins in the coming months. In Tirivanadapuram, Naveen Nair.